episode of As the Beer. Oh, I realize it's not an episode of As the Beer Swirls. It is not. And that would have been helpful to know the last time we did a Wild Card Wednesday. Yeah! Uh, I'm Dan. I am Mike. And Dan, starting to recognize these uh, grocery store beer labels. Am I am I correct to assume that this is another uh, Stephen Wildcard Wednesday beer? The Resource? The Resource. Yes, it is. That's All right. Guy. Stephen, a.k.a. The Resource, hooked us up with a box of goodies at our uh, meetup at BeerTuber Blues in 2022 with a whole bunch of good fellas and good gals and... Absolutely. We, we drank a lot of beer and shared some good nice. memories, and he it's gave us time. a nice box. So, As he is wont to do, because he is a generous individual. So he has made the mistake of... Uh, now, it covered, so can on 822. Okay. 22. Now, Dan... Finest, freshest. Dan, how much did that help us in the last Wild Card Wednesday beer we did? None. It didn't help us. Pretty poor. Pretty poor. We whiffed. Yeah. Big time. Um, now this... The only difference I can tell is it's a 16-ounce can. Oh, okay. Oh. It's, a, it's a dark one. So this has... <laughs> Here we go, folks. Here we go. So we're... we're Damn it. <laughs> we're doing mystery beers first. Wildcard Wednesdays first. We don't want to ruin the palate. And then, Steven, what'd you do to us, buddy? <laughs> You're getting the rest. Oh, I'm getting the rest. Thanks. <laughs> right on in there. You. I just I want you to be able to get a proper nose on this thing. <laughs> oh, I'm spilling already. Okay, so. It is. That is terribly dark. There is a sliver of brown dark at the bottom. upon dark. But that is a good looking foamy head on there. Like, yeah. it's, it's creamy. It's rocky creamy. Oh. We're doing secret smells. Okay, let's get away. <laughs> Here's the thing. I told, so I told Mike, I was like, ah, we don't need to pull these out, you know, because I'm figuring it's not going to be a stout, it's a 16 ounce can. <laughs> Shame on us, right? We don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Um, man, this, like, lager. Like a black lager? Or maybe a black IPA, but it's... Maybe. Yeah, because it doesn't really smell like a stout. I mean, no, it's got that... It's got like the the taste or the smelly notes of like a porter or a stout. Uh, yeah, a porter Definitely. maybe. There's a little bit of roast in there, but there's oh, what else? there's like a there's a sweetness. It feels weird saying this, but there's a, a sweet citrus kind of. What? Oh, great! Look at that! It it's a gorgeous looking beer. It's just it's staying. It's it, not it going. Really, oh, man, looks delectable. I'm not really getting much more than that. Like, it, it, I like that else word, is collectible. Of... It's a good word. Okay. It's a good word. We recently used it in a uh, love note to Poppy Eats over there. If you, if you don't know Poppy Eats, check out his channel. He's a good guy. Yeah. Uh, are you getting anything more on the nose? Because it's kind of... It's kind of muted. Kind of muted. Kind of subdued. Maybe like a cocoa. Maybe. Um, um, let's, let's taste yeah, it. Let's, let's dive in. Cheers. From now on, new rule. Mystery beers coming out of the fridge for at least... 15 minutes. Can't wait to get those warm pilsners in us. <laughs> That's a black IPA. Yeah, I think I think we're on, on the right track. That's good. So it's got that roasty malt aspect with that, that kind of a, a sweet kind of... Like you said, a sweet citrus. But it's got like a Schwartz beer esque mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of thing. But then it's it's got like this uh chalky kind of bitterness. It's like it's almost like a like a baking cocoa. Or like a quick powder. Or whatever. That's delicious. This is tasty. Body's a little up there for a black IPA. Yeah. I wanna say it's probably like a good seven percent. I was leaning towards seven percent. Then you said Schwartz beer. I was like, oh, yeah, maybe, but it's. I was saying Schwartz beer is too hoppy. It's too, yeah. It's a black IPA. I'm back to my original black IPA. That's tasty, dude. I'm like, just, I'm enjoying each sip. I'm gonna drop some keywords here. <laughs> oh. And if it turns out right, I want you to rewind the video. I'm just mentioning these two 
keywords. Okay. Okay. And I, I just want your mind to be blown if these t two keywords come to fruition. Okay. I'm just going to say two words. Ready? Super hoppy. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm very confident. There's a, there's a green. Uh, yeah. You want to you open her up? Or do we want to rate it first? Yeah, I'll give, it, I'll give this a... I'll give us a four four. I I love Okay, this. I'm I'm doing a high four two. I four point two seven. No, this is beautiful. This is really This crazy. is like the perfect blend of I'm assuming it's a black IPA. Um but this is the perfect blend for that. We're in the fall, right? This crisp This is perfect right? for this day. So you, you want those darker beers, but you Yeah you are still you're still looking back at the that that fling of the summer saying, yeah. oh, oh, hazy IP, where are you? Come get me. Do you give? I, I don't think I give an ABV. Do you give an ABV? Yeah, I, 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 I think it's like seven. Uh, yeah, like, I'm I'll pushing up there too. Like I'll, I'll do. I'll go seven as well. Uh, I think it's up there. You want to open this one? You, seeing as you, you've got some confidence brewing over there. Mike. Oh. I know that I know that can. Do you? Oh, there's an ABV right there. What are we at? 7.5. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, anoint me. The new king. Is this even necessary? Because I believe uh the old what was his name? Bug bug Potter or Joe, the other YouTube guy. Your, his scepter's over in your room, I believe. It was. It is. It's just something about these Lawson's <laughs> beers. <laughs> you freaking that I freaking know. <laughs> Why did you just say Lawson's? You should have just said it. Big hoppy, baby. Big hoppy. <laughs> no. I said super. But he did whatever. say super, so when we rewind the tape, eh, he's close enough. Yeah. 7.5 ABB. I said seven. What'd you say? Seven. I want okay. seven. Uh, this dark and devious brew reflects a resinous and sticky fusion yeah, okay. of intense, big roasted barley flavors, mm. powerful, dank aromas, uh, made with huge additions of five hop varieties and seven malts to create a oh. bold flavor profile. I, I mean... This is delicious. Straight from the Green Mountains to your head. Yeah. I might have to go buy a four pack. Of I, this. you know, I saw that posted recently. I was like, "Oh, that looks kind of good," and I kind of kept going. I'm so glad we got to try this. Thank you, resource. This was delightful. Dude. Yeah, I like this beer. It's probably one of my favorite Lawson's beers. Yeah, this is delicious. Uh, do you guys like Lawson's? Mm -hmm. Like, what? And do you like? It's not a style that really gets around very much. Is your black IPAs. Uh, have you guys had anything in that variety that you enjoy that maybe we can look into? That would be nice because I would like to try more. Of these. Yeah, yeah. Give, give your uh, suggestions. Please, please yeah. do. Uh, uh, down in the description. Uh, we got our Twitter, oh, FLX Beer Reviews, Instagram, FLX Beer Reviews, YouTube, FLX Beer Reviews, My Untapped, Mike's Untapped. Check us out. Be our friend. Please. We'd love it. All right, guys. Uh, this has been another Wild Card Wednesday. Yee-hoo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.